Yo, what is going on guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to another video. Today I got some more patch notes. Part 2 for the recent new update for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And now before we get into this, I'm not going to go over everything because there is just so much in this new update. So if you guys want to go check it out yourself, I will leave the link in the description if you guys want to read it by yourself. But yeah, anyways guys, let's get into it. Now for stability, they have added crash fixes related to ray tracing on next gen consoles and general stability improvements. And hopefully that actually includes um, these weird bugs that actually have bricked people's consoles and PCs. So hopefully that's been fixed too. Progression. Address an issue where prestige levels and prestige icons could display inaccurately in lobby menus. Yeah, that was a big issue on my side. And secondly, we have address an issue where the Prestige 1 icon could display in place of the Commander rank icon in the after action report. UI, user interface. Address multiple issues for breadcrumbs appearing incorrectly throughout lobby menus. I have no idea what that is, but address an issue where the reward animation could sometimes appear corrupted in the after action report. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, that was the global patch notes. Now let's just get into the multiplayer patch notes. So for multiplayer, we do have new playlists, Motherland Mosh Pit, that's uh, Crossroads Strike and Moscow. We have more progression, adjusted a few things for these game modes, dirty bombs, adjusted the score streaks, vehicles, the HUD, party invites, combined arms, custom games. Yeah, custom games was a big deal for me because I like to warm up a little bit before I hop in a public match, but the thing is I couldn't do that because the bots versus players setting would not show up sometimes, so that was a big deal. Weapons, they changed a bit of the vi visibility. The horror shotgun, launchers, and optics. Okay, let's go into zombies now. Now for zombies, we have progression. That was a big issue, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Progression was a serious issue in zombies, and it's finally been fixed, so yeah, for D-Machine, we have some stability fixes, added various stability fixes. Yeah, it was pretty glitchy, not gonna lie. Now for the gameplay, they have patched a lot of uh, outside the boundaries glitches, closed various exploit areas, you know, with the tier 3 ether shroud, where players can teleport outside the map and, you know, go in these insane pile-up glitches. So we have a few of those patched. You know, all these minor bugs with the mystery box, all this, it, I never found it, you know, too much of a, of a deal. So, that ups arcade, added various stability fixes, yeah, yeah. Onslaught for the PlayStation 5 and 4, pretty much the same stuff, some more uh, stability fixes and all that. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up the patch notes for the 1.07 update. So tell me what you guys think down in the comment section about this update. I'm really curious to know. Personally, I think it was a good change with all these uh, stability fixes. So, so once again, I will leave this article description down below by Treyarch themselves. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. And I'm out.